last-minute calls to prepare for a skilled volunteering mission in South Africa to launch Africa Code Week. Kevin Conroy is project lead for the SAP volunteers who are going to Cape Town for a first pilot week of teaching code, and he still needs to set up the schedule. You're always nervous at this point because there's so much can go wrong, um, but we have a good team. Um, we've selected people who are flexible, who have a lot of experience, uh, who will bring to it different uh, educational skills, different coding skills. Skills that are required because Africa Code Week is part of SAP EMEA's International Skilled Volunteering Program. Kevin, for example, works as part of the management team in the Enterprise Support Advisory Centre at SAP Ireland and brings 14 years of SAP experience to the table. The other volunteers were selected from more than 100 applicants and are from all across the EMEA region. It's a mix of people who have never met before doing something they've never done before. That brings a lot of challenges. One week later, Kevin is off to South Africa to meet his fellow volunteers at the Cape Town Science Centre, one of the partners of Africa Code Week, together with Saint-Plan, Galway Education Centre and Ampion. The SAP volunteers have one day to finalise the agenda for the coding workshops, followed by two days of training parents and teachers as multipliers for the initiative. And then finally, the volunteers get to meet the children to teach the benefits and fun of coding. Are we all computer experts? No. Not yet. <laughs> you will be computer experts, yeah? For the SAP team, the goal of the pilot is to fine-tune the material and find out what is needed by children, parents and teachers for the actual Africa Code Week in October. In terms of impact, we really want to prepare them um, to get into the 21st century workforce. We strongly believe uh, that coding is the new language and that every child deserves to be fluent. While the first pilot week already touches more than 1,000 people, Africa Code Week sets out to reach 20,000. What do potential volunteers need to know? First, they don't have to have uh, a background in computer science. You don't need to know how to write codes or something like that at the beginning because the software we are using is aimed at kids. So if kids can do that, adults can also do that. In the evening, the volunteers join a quite different event, this one with a formal dress code. The official launch of Africa Code Week during the World Economic Forum in early June. The volunteers get to meet representatives of local government and educational facilities, as well as local celebrities. It was connected to the World Economic Forum, you know, it shows you know, that the uh, coding could be a way to develop the uh, African continent further. So when I was asked to come and be involved in something that promotes education, promotes learning for children in Africa and promotes coding, I couldn't resist. I had to come along and, and show my support. Africa Code Week holds a promise for the continent to grow and SAP and partners are working hard to make it come true. In order to create meaningful impact of jobs and an impact in, and make a dent into poverty and job creation and the entire area of education, we've got to impart skills that enable people who become employable in the communities and in the economies in which they exist. In South Africa, the performance of learners from poor communities relative to the performance of learners in middle class families is huge. Uh, the Code Week gives the opportunity for learners to get access to digital resources, to digital opportunities and skills which can narrow that gap quickly. And we are looking for strong partnerships with governments, uh, Ministry of Education, NGOs and companies to have the biggest reach on the continent. If you want to make an impact, join now as a volunteer or partner for Africa Code Week, taking place in 15 countries across the continent, October 1st to 10th.